me, Bella, and today I'm gonna be having my Snapchat AI bot control my Brookhaven game. So yeah, let's go. Also, guys, it's been a bit since I did a face cam video, so if you guys want more face cam content, then be sure to like the video. Thank you. But anyways, guys, this is what my Snapchat AI bot looks like. It kind of looks like an alien. It's a bit concerning, but you know what? It doesn't matter. So yeah, guys, my fate is in this thing's hand, so let's do it. But anyways, guys, this is what my avatar currently looks like. Honestly, slaying. Look at the makeup. I'm wearing the same makeup. We're matching. But that is gonna change. So first, I'm gonna get naked and have my AI bot to what I'll look like. So let's just go to the customization. We're just gonna remove everything. There we go. I am bald and beautiful. I slay. And let's start asking the AI what I should look like. Okay, the first question is, what type of hair should I have? Okay, let's see what the AI says. You should try out a curly hair look. It would look great on you. Okay, so we already know our hairstyle. So it's gonna be curly. Now we're gonna ask it, what color hair should I have? How about trying a coral color for your hair? It could look amazing. Oh God, thank you. Okay, so we have curly hair and it has to be coral. Okay, guys, so let's go to hair. Let's see, what type of curly hairs do they have? Ooh, look at this one. Okay, so out of the ones in the Brickhaven catalog, I feel like this one is the most coily, curly, I guess. And now we're going to be going to the hair salon. Okay, so coral is like an orangey type. Maybe like this, I guess. There we go. Okay, so now I'm gonna be asking my AI what type of clothing I should wear. Hey, what type? type of top should I wear? You should wear a flowy blouse. It would look fantastic on you. Okay, so we gotta wear a flowy blouse. I'm gonna say and for pants. You should wear some high-waisted jeans. Okay, so a flowy blouse and some jeans. I don't even know if Brooke even, even has like flowy clothing. We have to find like a blouse. I don't think these are flowy. I felt like there wasn't a lot of options for flowy blouse. So I just chose this top and then for the jeans, I chose these ones. So now since we're looking kind of basic, we need some accessories. So let's see what the AI bot chooses. Okay, what type of accessories should I wear? Okay, let's see what the AI says. You should try some statement earrings and a dainty a necklace. They'll add a nice touch to your outfit. Okay, so some earrings and a necklace. Okay, so now we're in the accessory category and we need some nice earrings. Oh, this is a hair piece. I thought this was like an earring. Okay, no, we're not using that. Okay, so we got some hoops. They're not really like extra, but they're cute. Okay, no, no. I like this one more. This is so much cuter. And then now we need a necklace. The AI bot didn't specify. You know what? I'm just gonna have the AI be specific with me. What type of necklace should I wear? How about a delicate pendant necklace? It would complement your outfit. Okay, so a little pendant, something simple, nothing crazy. Is this considered like a little pendant, even though it's like a heart? There's like a little flower, and there's also like little gems, stones. Okay, wait. Now I don't know which one. I think I'm just gonna keep this. It's giving Olivia Rodrigo with like the heart and everything. What hair piece should I use? Please don't be something stupid. You could try using a cute hair clip or a floral headband. Is there even any hair band? Ooh, we could probably use the little heart one that I talked about earlier. You know what? I think I'm just gonna keep it like this. I think this is a pretty cute outfit. Okay, so now that our main look is done, we need to know what type of face am I gonna have? As you guys can see, Brookhaven has so many faces. A lot of really concerning ones and creepy ones like this one. Okay, so I'm gonna ask the AI bot, should I wear makeup? Sure, a natural makeup look would look perfect for your outfit. A lot of these faces don't don't have makeup, so they're automatically disqualified. And it said natural, so we need like a soft glam. Okay, so I think this one's pretty natural, so I'm just gonna be using this face. Okay, so now that our avatar look is completed, we now need a name, an age, and a personality. Like, how are we gonna act to other players? So let's find out. Okay, choose the name for my character. Please be something cute. How about the name Luna? It has a mysterious and magical vibe to it. Also, why is Boucha texting me? Everyone comment Boucha is sour watermelon for interrupting my video. Okay, so now we're gonna be asking what my age is gonna be. How old should Luna be? Luna can be in her early 20s, full of youthful energy and adventure. Describe Luna. Luna is a free-spirited and creative individual. She loves expressing herself through her unique style and enjoys exploring new places and ideas. So I guess I'm gonna be really fun, creative, a nice person to be around. So we're gonna be making friends. Does Luna have many friends? Am I gonna be making friends? Luna is quite popular and has a close-knit circle of friends. She values quality over quantity when it comes to friendship. I guess if I make like two or three friendships, then that's what Luna would have. We're gonna go over here and I'm gonna be Luna. There we go, pink, and then we're gonna be 20. There we go, guys, Luna is now completed. What type of car should Luna have? Luna should have a stylish and compact car that reflects her unique personality. Maybe something like colorful convertible or vintage Volkswagen Beetle. Oh my gosh, I literally love Volkswagen. So I'm gonna say what color should it be? Luna's car should 
have a vibrant color. How about a bold shade like light blue or fiery red? Okay, so I have the option to choose between blue or red, but like, I want the AI to do this. Pick blue or red. Okay, electric blue. It's vibrant and eye-catching that will match her personality. Fun fact, my car in real life, it's blue. I got a Bronco. I love those cars. They're so cute. So we got a blue Volkswagen. And look, the car is literally already blue. I just spawned it and it's already blue. But I think I'm gonna go for like a more cyan-y blue. Yeah, there we go. This is Luna and your car and everything. I love it. Now it's time to choose a house. Okay, AI, what type of house should Luna have? Luna should have a cozy and whimsical cottage style house. It would be filled with colorful decor, fairy lights, and unique touches. Okay, so we have a cottage. Okay, so I'm just gonna get this cottage basically. What color should it be? Luna's house should be painted in a vibrant and cheerful color like a sunny yellow or a mint green. You know what? I'm just gonna go for a yellow. Comment down below your favorite color. Mine is definitely light pink, cyan, or yellow. Or honestly, any color. I love all colors. Okay, so the house is going to be yellow. I'm gonna go for this shade of yellow. I think it's more soft. It's more chill to the eyes. And earlier, the AI said that it should be decorated with like fairy lights and like colorful things. Let's decorate it with props. We can add balloons because that's colorful. Here you go, AI. You got a ton of color. She does her makeup, so we can have like a vanity thing. The fairy lights are gonna be pink. I'm gonna put one right here too. This is looking super cute. Honestly, the AI is doing a pretty good job. Okay, so now that we're settled in, I want to get Luna some food. Okay, let's see. What fast food should I get? How about some mouth-watering burgers and crispy fries? Okay, so I guess we can go to like the burger place in Brookhaven Town. Although, I was kind of hoping for pizza because I love pizza, but whatever. This is crazy though, how this AI bot has literally chosen everything. It's basically controlling my life. Anyways, here we are at Happy Burger. So the AI bot said to get a burger and some fries. Honestly though, this looks pretty good. Yummy, yummy, yum. Also guys, comment down below your favorite food. Okay, so now that we're done with our food, I want some ice cream, so let's ask the AI bot what flavor should I get? Which ice cream flavor should I get? Vanilla, chocolate, birthday cake, bubblegum, or mint chip? If you're in the mood for something classic and timeless, go vanilla. You too. How about a scoop of birthday cake ice cream? It's fun and festive. Okay, so I guess we're gonna have birthday cake. Honestly, I love birthday cake, so it's fine. Here we go, Luna. Here is your ice cream. Delicious. I honestly wish I had ice cream in real life. Should I have a pet? Definitely, having a pet can bring so much joy and companionship into your life. What type? If you're looking for a furry friend, an affectionate dog could be a great choice. Okay, so they have a lot of cats. What team are you guys on? Dogs or cats? I honestly love both and I have both. Okay, there's like bunnies, axolotls. Do you have a capybara? This is the first dog that I saw. So I guess this is going to be Luna's pet. Kind of looks like a rat. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna go to a public server and have the bot choose different fun and crazy activities for me to do. So I just joined the game and there's this bald, half naked person. Are they an online dater? I'm gonna say, what fun activity should I do in a role play game? How about exploring a virtual world and battling epic monsters? I mean, that person, they look kind of like a monster. Should I rob someone? Sorry, but I can't help with that. Okay, so I think they do this because if someone does something bad in real life, then the AI is irresponsible. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna ask the AI to give me a number. If it says two, then I'm gonna do it. Pick a number, one or two. Two! Okay, we're gonna rob a house, guys. Hola. Wait, why does this look like baby Ibella? Me adoptas. They asked me if I should adopt them. Let's ask the AI. Should I adopt someone? Yes. I'm gonna adopt this baby and I'm gonna take it to rob someone. What an awesome bonding experience, right? Mama! I'm gonna get money for us, okay? Okay, look, there's a person right here. Can you buy me some Doritos? Yeah, after I get the money that I want. Oh my gosh, wait, please don't ban me. Also, why am I in a Spanish server? But you know what, it's fine. Good thing I'm a Latina queen. Oh, she knows I'm trying to sneak in. Oh, she has horrible Wi-Fi though. Okay, there we go. Oh, I trapped her. Haha, <laughs> loser. Where the heck is the safe in this house? Oh, no. This is my money. Oh my gosh. Please don't ban me. Oh, please don't ban me. I'm a mother. I need to provide for my children. What am I doing? I can just do this. Hey, yo, look at this guy. Wait, hold up. Let me ask the AI if I should have a boyfriend. Should I date someone? Yes, having a boyfriend can be a wonderful experience and feel a connection with someone special. So this guy isn't special because I don't know him. The AI bot said I should have a boyfriend, so. Hey, want to be my boyfriend? Can this dad just join the game? I hope he does not think I'm weird or something for trying to online date. That would be kind of awkward. <laughs> It's not a complicated question. You could just say yes or no. And by no, I mean say yes. Oh my God, he has to go now. I'm gonna be an independent mother. Probably not because this guy just rejected me. Here you go, some Doritos. I think my daughter's sad now. But you know what? That's not my problem. Deal with it. But anyways, guys, that's it for today's video. Be sure to like and subscribe and comment down below if I should do a part two. Bye.